I'm sitting underneath my new caravan. It is parked at my house. I haven't taken it out for a trip yet. When I park the caravan, I put all four drop-down stabilizer legs. These are also known as corner steadies. A few days ago, as I was preparing to take the caravan for a short trip, I raised all the other three stabilizer legs. And when it came to this front right stabilizer leg, I could not pull this handle out to release the two locking pins that lock the leg into position. I finally managed to release it after spraying PTFE into the cylinders from this side and from the rear side as well. The reason why this assembly could not be pulled out is because the inner pin in this tube is bent. This Elco stabilizer leg has part number 654874AL. This drop down pull pin assembly has part number 654882. Join me in this video as I remove this assembly, show you the bent inner pin, replace that damaged pin with a new pin, and then I will also attempt to straighten that bent pin so that I can keep it as a spare. I'm now sitting next to the front left stabilizer leg. I will show you how a normal functioning pull pin assembly works. Very easy, just pull it out. By pulling it out, it retracts the two steel pins backward away from the two holes in this steel bracket. Doing that allows me then to raise the leg to whichever lock position I want, whether it's straight up front at an angle in front or to the rear at an angle or fully horizontal on the rear. Let me start removing this drop down pull pin assembly. I need a small flathead screwdriver. This is to remove the two plastic caps Insert them in there and flick them open. Doing that will expose the nylock nut in here. I have an 8mm matrix socket on my ratchet to unlock it. If it rotates, then I may have to hold the stud behind here. There's a steel washer and a nylock nut. This nut on the left hand side is tighter and it's causing the stud behind to turn so that the nut is not releasing at all. What I can do is use a pair of pliers to grip the metal start at the rear and use my ratchet. And it is working, it's locking the start so that the nut can turn. So that's the washer and the nylock nut for the left hand side. Remove the pull handle. This is what the pull handle looks like. The side where the nut and washer go in has a wider diameter hole whereas that is on the rear. It's got a smaller diameter hole. Be careful, there is also another washer. Now I can remove this cylinder. I will not remove the cylinder on the left given as the pull pin is not bent. With my hands I can pull it freely. I will remove the cylinder on the right because the pull pin cannot pull completely out as you can see whereas the left pulls much further out the right pull pin cannot pull far out because it's bent so I'll remove this steel tube if it is tight there are two flat faces here I can use an adjustable spanner or a pair of pliers and just grip that to turn then it should release anti-clockwise unscrew because the inside pull pin is bent it could be slightly difficult just turn the pin to allow the outer tube to move freely this is what it looks like the outer steel tube with the thread the inner spring that goes to this pull pin like this and you can see the pull pin is severely bent at this point that's because this start protrudes out the rear of the steel bracket and then it protrudes into the hole in the steel leg and what happens is when the drop down leg is made to carry too much weight that forces these pins to bend so lesson learned for me these stabilizer legs must not carry weight and it's better when extending or retracting the leg I prefer to use the manual winder rather than a power drill because there are tiny gears in here using a power drill wrongly can snap the teeth in the two gears and the big lesson for me is that these drop down legs must not carry weight 
So in future, when I'm using these legs, I will lower them to the point where they just touch. But not so much that I see that the caravan body is lifting. Because you can now see that if I lift a corner of the caravan on these pins, these pins are probably only mild steel and not high tensile steel. And they're not meant to carry heavy loads. They're only meant to stabilize the body in case weight is put on the corner of the caravan and there's a leg to just stop it from moving further. It is not intended to carry loads at all. Another point about the use of the stabilizer legs is with the legs in the vertical drop down position that is the strongest orientation for it to carry some load. If with the leg extended at an angle, there's less ability to transfer the vertical load to the ground. However, it is better at stabilizing lateral movement of the caravan, for example, from strong winds. Get the stabilizer leg functioning again, I will replace with this new pull pin. Before I put the pull pin in the steel tube, I will apply some PTFE dry lubricant rather than WD-40 oil spray because WD-40 oil will collect dirt and clog up whereas PTFE spray does not. I might as well spray the internal tube. Insert the pull pin with the spring. Screw the steel tube back in. And as a test check, you can see this right hand side pull pin now pulls easily just like the left. I will use pliers on the two flat faces to tighten the steel tube in slightly. As long as I can't hand loosen it, that's good enough. Put the steel washer back in to both sides. Put the red handle back. Washer and nylon nut on the left hand side. hand tighten, washer and nylock nut for the right hand side. Now I use my 8mm socket to tighten. I put my hand on the rear start just to check the start is not turning. When the start at the rear begins to turn, I'll use a pair of pliers to grip it so that I can continue tightening the lock nut at the front. As soon as the bolt protrudes to the edge of the nut, I will stop. Now for the right hand side. That's good enough. Now to check the pull. Very good. It's moving freely and returning freely into position again. That's good. It's fixed. Now push the two plastic covers back, be careful because if it's not in completely, it could spring out again. All good, repair done. Now stay with me for the next part of the video where I try and straighten this bent pull pin so that I can keep it as a spare. In my vise, there's a V-notch. I'll grip this large stud in that V-notch and I'll orient the pin so that the direction of the bend is towards this side. If I hold a right angle set square, it is obvious how much the bend is. So I will straighten this to straighten that pull pin. I will first heat it up with a gas torch. I'll just heat up where the bend is and try and heat it up all around. Now to insert it over the steel tube and bend it in that direction. Oh, I think that angle looks very good. That looks straight. That's very good. It's straightened. I can use that as a spare now. I do hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more and help the channel grow. Thank you so much.